Hey guys, what's up? My name is Megan and welcome back to the Cozy Stretch. And today we're going to be playing Assassin's Creed for the Xbox 360. So I decided to mix it up because you probably noticed there's like a bit of two week gap on the channel and frankly I don't know, I've just been in a bit of a rut. So I'm not gonna go into that. But I thought I'd like to mix up what kind of games I play on the channel because I know at the end of the day I don't like watching one type of video from one content creator for ages. I know that even with channels like The Sims that are just completely focused on The Sims, I, I drop out from watching them for like months and then I'll go back to watching their shit again. So I don't want to just be Bayonetta because at the end of the day I don't just play Bayonetta. I do play other games and I play a big variety of games including this one which is fantastic. I just love Assassin's Creed. I've not played the last three, three, the last three installments of the game, which um, Origins, Odyssey and Valhalla. I've not had a chance to play those, mainly because games are so expensive nowadays. <laughs> like, why? What is that all about? I'd like to take it back to the start and maybe we can build up into playing all the way through up into those new games. But this is like where it all started for me anyway. This is like where I was like, wow, this is the type of, like, these are the kind of games that I like and I started developing more opinions about what I liked in games. But I'm just going to talk over this this segment because it's just it's just a lot of bullshit while um, they try and explain basic controls and it's just far too long and boring to try and make any meaningful commentary out of it. So I'm just going to talk about what I like about this game to start with. So basically I, I first seen this game was oh, God knows when, obviously when it just came out. But when it just came out, um, I didn't own it. And I was actually at my, my Uncle George's, we were at his house and he was like, oh, I got this cool new game. Uh, and he was showing it off to my dad, but I was like, oh, cool, what's it? I've never, I've never heard of this. And he was like, oh, it's called Assassin's Creed. And I was like, ooh. And he let me play it. And funnily enough, it was on the PS3 at the time. And I didn't own a PS3, I, had the, I obviously had the Xbox 360. So after trying to get used to the controls, um, I eventually was like, oh, wow. Um, but at the end of the day, like, I thought it was so great and the scenery and it was just absolutely breathtaking at the time. Obviously it's aged a little bit from then and we'll, we'll see that and I'll probably laugh at it as it goes on. But at the time I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. Like, this is a new type of game. Because the games I owned at the time were Call of Duty um, and Gears of War were the, the games I had at the time, so typical like, fucking shooters and Gears of War obviously being a third, pra uh, third person cover shooter, which got a problem. I'm sure I could have easily went down that route, but Assassin's Creed definitely took me to a place where I wanted more, or like I wanted more from a game, I wanted a, a, a good story. No, like Call of Duty and Gears of War, yeah there's story, and Gears of War arguably has a better story, because there's a bit of lore and stuff, but at the end of the day, it was just like men going, Err, feeling, Err, kill, kill, kill. So this is like where I started to really appreciate gaming for what it was, rather than just, I don't know, and introduce me what it could be visually, what it could do. It's quite interesting. But we were introduced here to Desmond, who's been basically bundled up into the back of a van and transported to this, um, this lab and forced into the animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Knight. Yeah, we're introduced to like there's there's a group of people called assassins. So like again another thing this completely subverts what you think about assassins. You always think about assassins as dark C D characters and um especially more like fantasy roles in D D it's like oh the assassins the, the sneaky man with the, the knife they'll get you while it keeps those some of those aspects of it there's definitely more of a like they're more public especially like in history but they've, they've died down to maybe become more of what more like what they are known nowadays we'll put it like that way not that we had much of a decision um any button you press made him lie down <laughs> Um, it's a bit meta there saying well we need a bit of a tutorial and we do actually go into a long and boring tutorial section as it tries to build up um, the, the controls 
But I get why. It's a little bit frustrating now playing it in the year 2021. But back then, this was very new. I think we only kind of parkour sort of game with maybe Mirror's Edge. And that was a first person one, and it was like. Wasn't it? I don't know. It wasn't as complex, I suppose, as this. Science, 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 science. Assassin's Creed also gave you the wonderful thing of being able to move around and look at things during cutscenes. So you can look at this, and look at this guy, and be polite and look at people who are just talking. Yeah. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We've found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly yeah. into the specific memory. They need to be nice used to psychology there. there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, yep, we and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, yep. so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading a tutorial, tutorial program, program yeah. So, we go straight in. I say straight in, not straight in. Um, also, the costume design in this game, so mwah. Like, I think everyone can recognise what someone from Assassin's Creed looks like. It's it's became a, a bit of iconic piece of culture I'd say. Even if you're not a, even if you don't play Assassin's Creed, you know what uh, an assassin looks like now. It's quite interesting. Yeah, synchronization is just basically your health mirror. But they doesn't really have it the same way. The other thing is the, the, this changes throughout the games as well. Uh, but it's like you've got the head button, your empty hand, your weapon hand and your legs. Um yeah, so that's there's people yeah. In Desmond's note referred to as Subject 17, which becomes um, more important with the story of the game. So being able to like walk past and gently push the civilians is very important, um, as we don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves in certain situations, which it does kind of explain. Yeah, and it explains this, the high and low. Hello, the high and low profile. So you see up the top right corner, it changes when I hold in the, the RT button and it's more like punching, grabbing, but it's, you can still punch, but there's more bl there's blend instead of jumping and yeah. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't quite perfect, um, that wasn't, that wouldn't have been a bullseye. Why, why do I look like a moody fight? I'm like, do you recognize what kind of soldier he is? <laughs> Does that cross mean anything to ya? Because heads up, we're going to the Holy Lands in this game. I'm really good at timing my videos. Like, really, really good at them. Although, there has been a ceasefire in the, the area, so I suppose... It's not too bad. It's not too bad. If I'd, if I'd done this like, a couple of weeks earlier, then maybe it would be a little bit of an issue. So obviously in the game we wouldn't just stand there and watch a soldier come over and um, assess the situation. So do I, so do I, and it's, it's called playing the game, not being this tutorial mission. So if we could speed this up a little bit. So now we're actually playing the game. And this is our introduction to Altair and his, his comrades. An excellent kill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything. The so, so Altair's in charge of this this group outing. And he's just killed this man who seems like he's just would not have been chill. Life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task, only that it's done. But this is not the way of My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not yep. to dishonor us. So we've killed that, that poor guy that was just chilling out doing his business and Altair's like, well, he was in the fucking way, right? Which, again, I suppose this is the problem with rules and regulations. If you have, like, no regulations, then it leaves things open, so Altair's 
within his rights, apart from killing an innocent, he has killed an innocent person straight up. But Altair could argue that he wasn't innocent. So it's very it's very strange. But this man isn't innocent. He's a soldier. So we kill him with no issues with that regard. And here we are, the Templars. And we can move around in the cutscenes as you can see as I spin. Ark of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's just a story. Then what is it? Quiet! Someone's coming! I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Massia. Robert de Sabre. His life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure yeah. and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. He's, he's down there, if that's up there. I mean, I'm sure there's some, some leeway we can get around this somehow. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the brotherhood. I am your superior in both title and ability. You have to say it. You're not really the superior. Hashtag just saying. Um, yeah, so, like, Altair is definitely the arrogant fucking prick of the show. Because he just, like... You don't even get the chance to do like a, a subtle e execution. Hold he just straight up comes up like. Hello there, fitting man. And what is it you want? Blood. You know not the things in which you meddle as a son. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay and all of you will die. So we are we are spared. And uh, a bit of a... <laughs> the temple starts to crumble. There's some uh, commotion. But the commotion fades and we're left to escape him. Because, well, that, that went to shit very quickly. Yeah, it's another good thing. It's like the way the worlds are set up in Assassin's Creed is, is quite cool. Like, you, there's like different routes to go. Like, so you could have went up that side and come up this way. So that it does, it gives a little bit of freedom, even in the early games, to like decide how you're going to tackle this climbing challenge. Obviously, within the abilities of the game. Um, the first game, the climbing is a little bit fucking slow. But again, that was this was this was new. I don't think there was a game like this at the time. If there was, I never fucking played played it or heard of it. Fuck it. Uh, this this season just this um this series of like the Assassin's Creed is just gonna be me talking about um game development in general I think obviously <laughs> at least for this fucking first um first fucking video because it's so goddamn slow yes hello Altair, Raoul. Raoul it is good to see you unharmed Woo. I trust your mission uh, was a success as in the tower is the master in his tower. Yes, yes, uh, buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects my thanks, brother. Yep. Safety and peace yep. out there. And and with your spirit. Well. Um, let's go. Um, the GPS is very fucking rudimentary, considering. Oh, sorry. And this is the this is the castle. Ah, he returns at last. Abba, where are the others? Uh, did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? You can see that? I know you are loath to share the glory. <laughs> Silence is just another form of a sin. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. <laughs> Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Ooh. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later, brother. Ooh, some animosity in the camp. Which, I mean, it's, like, it's completely um, expected. Like, it's, all, it's all these men. Like, the testosterone is high. It would be some dick. Um, it is an honour. It's an honour. Okay, clearly. And 
Can't use any weapon. Yeah, see what he's doing. Awesome. What's up, Hugh? Chilling. Hey, oh, I'm here. Uh, no. There was some trouble, Mr. <laughs> Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. Well, I didn't really do that either, so... What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. <laughs> I send you, my best man. To complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak. <laughs> not another word. This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No. You'll do nothing. You've done <laughs> enough. Where are Malik? Uh, about them. Dead. No, no, not dead. Lol. Not dead. He's um, he's bleeding. Someone help this man. And your brother? Oh, he is dead. Because of you. Oh. Robert threw me from the roof. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you must not heed my warning. All of this so Malik is rightfully pissed at us because. I see us. I'll tell you. I'll tell you is the one that fucked up here. Your arrogance nearly cost us everything. He's he's rightfully upset because Altair's kinda did everything against the book. Ah oh, shit. And Malik actually got the treasure as well. So it seems I've returned with more than just the treasure. Which um Master, we are under attack. Oh no. So you may notice the treasure actually I looks like that silhouette from that the, the guys were showing us before we went prepared. into the Animus. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. Yes. We must make for the village, destroy these invaders, drive them from our home. It will be Okie done. Okie Yep, he's like, ah, uh, priorities. We'll talk later. The, the village is under attack because Robert de Sable has followed um, Altair and Malik for revenge because rightfully so oh oh goodness there's some casualties already oh hello Altair, it's good you've come. We oh yeah now you need my help oh no this is raul raul liked us <laughs> sorry <laughs> most of our people were able to get away most but not all what do you need me to do distract the temple yep. keep them occupied while i rescue those still trapped inside no problem. Let's let's do this. This is where it teaches you about combat. Cause yeah, this whole level's a fucking yeah, and it stops you every time. Right. It says like use that, but I'm gonna use the fucking throwing knives because they're just superior in every way, shape, and form. Because it would explain it's like oh, like, like yeah, I know how to enter the fight mode. Right, so the counter is just so much quicker. So, and it will try and get me to attack them, but it just never works like that. So they need to attack me, and then I counter, and it just works a lot better. Oh, you got up. I'll tie here, please. Oh my god. There we go. I'm also, I'm also just a, a sucker for the. Fine, I'll press X just to upset you. That's to deflect it. But overall, I find the character works a lot better with combat in the first game. Because it does. It's just a fact. Oh, 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 my, oh my god, that was dirty tactics there. Um, and it just works a lot better. Oh, hello, you want to fight? Oh, that was a pretty strong attack. Nice, nice, nice. 
We're saving the people. We're saving them. Like, yeah, it just doesn't really work. Like, you do have to use the counter. And then it will... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Uh, let me switch to my sword. Right, so then you can... Right, and then we'll do a big long attack. Just so that the game stops freaking out at us. And we'll go back to the throwing knives. I don't actually think we can save any of these guys. I'm just like, look, this is me trying to attack, and you just cannot. You just can't. Eventually, you wear them down, but that just takes far too long when you can just wait for them to come at you and then counter them. Oh, time me. Oh. Time to go back to the, the, the messing off the thingy. Thank fuck fast forwards, because I was going to do that in five seconds. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. <laughs> Round the fortress and then we go round it up. Ah, yes. Where are we going? Up there. We've a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should be come to in an hour. Go for a little. And then go up the ladder. And then we'll follow Raul up to the top. Over. Stand on that now recording. And yeah, there's Roberto Sabu. He wants his treasure back because um, why wouldn't he want the treasure back? That's that was his whole point of being fucking the mines. Ooh, look, you can see me. Uh oh. He's dead. At least he was a, a masked assassin, so we don't actually know who, he, who they were, or we don't care if they lived or died. But the master of the, the assassins does make this point as well. Yeah. So you'll see, yes. No problem. Whee! So leap of faith is like, oh, he missed it. Oh, oh goodness. Oh shush shush. <laughs> Easier said than done. <laughs> oh, oh god. You okay? Mm. I'll stay behind and help. You'll have to go ahead with that. Okay, okay. Yeah, so they've set up um, the defences like well in advance for an event like this. So you just need to climb through. Uh, yeah, they've, they've made them disappear. Yes, you already told me how to climb. But this is a little bit more taller and I suppose a little bit more complicated where you do actually need to move left and right while you're climbing. But it's uh, it's good. I can't wait till we get into the, the more nitty gritty part of the game just because I do I do enjoy playing them. And then we just cut that down. And our logs. Burn back, men! Burn back! Yeah, so we took it a while. Whoa physics Yes. You did well to drive Robert. Yep, we did do well. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he travels up again. Tell me, do you know why he is your successor? You <laughs> hit something. Yes, I Ow. I just whacked my hand off the desk. That was good. <laughs> All of this would have been avoided. I did as I was. No, you didn't. Don't lie, it was. You did as you <laughs> Disregard for our ways. What are you Whoa. doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we 
Yeah, I'll tell you, you've kind of fucked up. Three simple elements which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade from the flesh of an enemy. Yeah, you killed the man. No. Boom. Fuck. And stay your tongue. Unless I give you leave to No, that's not a tenant. Don't don't like to us, but okay. That guy on the right, he looks so sad about what he's doing. <laughs> There's not really determination there, he just looks like a bit concerned. Like, Ooh. Here it comes with my own hands. The second is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mark your touch as you become one with the crowd. You'll remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. Yeah, that was so stupid. Like, even if you weren't an assassin, why on earth would you just kind of saunter up when you're heavily outnumbered and be like, yo, I want blood. Of course he's going to stop you from attacking him. Oof, that's a heavy burden. I mean, you could say it's because Malik, because Malik took the, the 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 treasure and brought it here. I am not a traitor. Traitor? Oh. Your actions indicate otherwise. I'm going to leave you no choice. Peace be upon you, Altaria. Whoa! I fucking don't remember that. He doesn't die, does he? No, no, we still play as I. I don't know why I even questioned that. We do play as Altaria. But I don't know how we get out of being stabbed. That's an interesting one. He's experiencing a fire but that's us done in the animus the for the day. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. He shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to check the data. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. <laughs> Warren? Let's discuss this elsewhere. <laughs> Lucy's taking no shit from Warren. Absolutely none. But now Desmond's out. But the concern is that Desmond shouldn't be in the Animus for too long because he's he's subject seventeen. Mm. Right, but we can I think we can listen in on them. Oh yeah yeah yeah. We, we can listen on them. I forgot. You can listen on them by going in here. Because you can't hear jack shit through the walls for obvious reasons. But. You can. Um, fuck. Prevent. Yes. Yeah, so there's also a bit of conflict between those two about um, what is best in order to get the information that they want out of Desmond. Lucy's definitely advocating for not killing us, which we're 100% for. Good for Lucy. But Warren's more about, like, I need the results. I want the results. So, hello. What are you guys talking about? I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. Oh, okay, okay. Um, cool stuff. Uh, but we're just going to wait for Lucy to go back to the, the Animus. Because there's actually some extra dialogues that we can get with Lucy that kind of open up a little bit more in terms of background story and some knowledge. Which, the first time I played the game, didn't realise we could do this. Which was a big fuck up on my part. So I was kind of a little bit left in the dark when it came to some things. 
safety at Dao Tai Wei? Yes and no. What do you mean? I was supposed to be one, but I ran away from the farm when I was 16. Farm? Yeah, that's what they call the place where I grew up, the farm. Like Messiah, I guess. Only not so uh, creepy. The faces could be bad. There's a small community in the middle of nowhere. About 30 of us live in, you know, off the grid. Wow. Thought my parents were just crazy hippies trying to stick it to me. <laughs> she's, she's like, she's interviewing us. She's like taking notes with that fucking galore pen. How we have to be prepared. No one ever came. Nothing ever happened. Why'd you run away? I could never leave the compound. Do you have any idea what it feels like being trapped in a place, knowing there was a whole world out there I'd never get to see? Don't you miss your parents? No. As far as I'm concerned, they weren't my parents. They were my wardens, and I was their prisoner. It sounds like they only wanted to protect you. With all that's happened, I don't know. I guess they were right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to dredge up the past. It's all right. It gives me something to think about. Try and get some sleep. Yeah. Yeah, so now, now we can go back. Now that we've spoke to Lucy about um, what life was like back on the farm. So we go in and the door gets locked Damn behind us. Which is why it's important to speak to Lucy before you come into the room, otherwise you miss that dialogue. But again, stupid ass me didn't realise this. <laughs> um... Yeah, it's, it's interesting to see what you can interact with because, again, when I played the game, I just kind of like rushed right through it. I feel like I do that a lot with games and I'm trying to get out of the habit of doing that. Um, oh, it's interesting that it changes to the angle. But I suppose that indicates that there is the camera watching you shower. Ugh. That's weird. But we'll be ready to go to bed. Yes, go to bed now. Whoa, that was some the following morning. I hate that there's subtitles for stupid shit like that. Yeah, there's no subtitles to actually for any game dialogue. Because I love having subtitles in game dialogue. It means I'm more comfortable to talk over it. Whereas I'm not really 100% comfortable to talk over this dialogue. Your ancestors all may have had the right idea, Miss Damar. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well... It seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, all me? They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than politics. Cut out the truth. Um, okay. Wrap your body in time. When, whenever people make analogies, like comparing something to cancer, it's like, it's just a bit of a kind of, whoa, that's a strong take you've got there on it. <laughs> it's like recently, I think it's just been pointed, it's like, um, yeah, it was like Rhythm is a Dancer, that song. And there's a line in it. <laughs> it's like during the, the rap part and at the end it's the, the last line as well. So it's like the music kind of like becomes a lot quieter. So it becomes a lot more noticeable. Where he goes, I'm serious as cancer when I see rhythm as a dancer. And you're like, what on earth is that fucking comment meant to me? <laughs> like, holy shit. Uh, anyway, I suppose it's day two for Desmond and the fucking animus. But we'll get to that next time we play more of the Assassin's Creed. Um, so I'll just uh, pause it here, I suppose, so if you do okay. <laughs> right, so if you're at the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I'd really like it if you gave me a quick little like on the video. It costs nothing to do so. And if you're subscribed as well, so you can watch more of the videos that I release. Um, hopefully I'll get a lot better releasing, so I'd like it if you... It would really be great if you did that as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!